Hi everyone and welcome to this introduction to uh, database theory and technology. Um, I'm going to start here at Kaggle.com. Kaggle.com is a place where data scrapers share data that they have scraped off the internet. Then data miners can come and get that data and start to analyze it. So Kaggle is a place where data scrapers can share the information that they have scraped off the internet. For example, if we click on data sets here and just scroll through the results, I can find that somebody has scraped some data from um, maybe these two websites. I know Twitter. I'm assuming that newsletter is a uh, newsletter impact is a website. I'm not sure, but um, this guy here, Rachel Tapman has scraped data off the internet from these websites. Somebody here has uh, scraped data off YouTube. An interesting one that I found was uh, data that has been scraped from the IMDB movie database. In fact, let's have a look at that one. So um, this is what we see at the moment. Let's just go to data. So the thing that I have access to now is a CSV file. Uh, that's really what I'm looking for. Um, and this CSV file contains this kind of data. Okay. The name of the director of the movie, whether the movie is color or maybe black and white. Um, uh, the actors in the movie, um, the genre of the movie. The movie title, of course, we'd like to know the movie title, Avatar, The Dark Knight Rises, etc., etc., etc. Okay? So all of this data here is being stored in a CSV file and it has been shared on Kaggle.com by a data scraper. And now, me, and I am a data miner, I'm going to take this data and I'm going to analyze it. Okay? So I'm going to download it. And I'll show you um, a sample of what I've got. Um, this is the download file that I've managed to take. I'm just going to open this with Notepad. And this is the CSV file. Hopefully you understand what a CSV file is. It's just a very simple database where all of the data in the file is just separated by a comma. So this is a comma separated values file, a CSV file very very useful but very very simple form of a database okay so I've downloaded the file I've stored it um, in, a, in a project folder and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up um, my favorite database program uh, access Microsoft access brilliant not many people know how to use Microsoft Access but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a blank database and um, I'm going to try to import that external data that CSV file that I just showed you now that CSV file is I'm gonna import a text file CSV file is really a text file so I'm gonna choose that as my option Let's browse for it. Um, where did I save it? I saved it in my data science folder. There it is. That's my CSV file. Okay, that's the file type there. Comma separated values file. Brilliant. So I'm gonna that's the file. Okay. Um, what is all this about? Characters such as comma or tab separate uh, or tab separate each field. Yep, that's true. So this is a delimited file. Ooh, here's a preview of what's in the file. Brilliant. Um, yep, the comma separates everything. That's fine. The first row contains field names. The first row here contains all the field names. That's correct. The first field is the director name, and there's all the data. The second field is the num critic for reviews, whatever that means, um, etc., etc. So yes, the first row contains field names. Uh, you can specify information. 
Ah, right, okay, so these are the field options for each field. And really what I want to focus on here is whether or not I'm going to import the field. I've got that choice. And what kind of data type the field um, is storing. So the direct name, for sure, it's text. And I want to import the direct name, so I'm not going to check that box. Let's have a look at this one, NumCritic for reviews. Not really sure what that means, to be honest with you. I'm not going to import that field. Nah. The duration of the movie, I, I'm going to import it, and it's not text. This is a whole number. Do you see the samples here? 178, 169, 148. These are whole numbers. And in computer technology speak, a whole number is an integer. The director Facebook likes. Um, and now I'm not going to import those. What else have we got? The actor one Facebook likes. Yeah, okay, I'm going to import how many the actors Facebook likes. The genre, I'm... Oh, it, what, um, the actor Facebook likes has automatically become a long integer data type. So long integer just, just means really big number. So I'm going to go with that because I can see some pretty big numbers in this data set here. So let's just stick with long integer, big numbers. Genre, text. How many fields have we got here? Wow. Actor name, yeah, okay, we'll keep the actor. I think this just means main actor. We're going to keep that. That's text, yep. Movie title, yep, we're going to keep that. That's text. The number of voted users, I don't even know what that means. I'm just going to not import that. The actor three, no, I don't want that. Um, keywords in the plot, yeah, okay, that's text, I'll, I'll take that. The number of user for reviews, I don't know what that means, I'm not going to import it. The language English, which is text, country USA, etc. Text, content rating, yeah, okay, I'll take it, that's text. The year, mm, I'm not sure if that's text, it looks like a number to me, and a, sh and a small number. I'm just going to accept integer. And the IMDB score. Notice this is not a whole number, 7.9. So in computer speak, a decimal number is sometimes called a double. And um, Microsoft Access, very smart program that it is, has recognized that that data is double data. So I don't have to change anything. Those are all the fields. And I've just double checked the data type for every field. I'm now going to go to next let access add a primary key we're going to discuss this later in our database course for now I'm going to say yes let access add a primary key and I'm just gonna name this table um, I like to start my table names with TBL just be, just to remind me that this is a table you, you'll see how useful this is later in the course and I'm gonna call it movie data so this is my movie data table okay Boom! Finished importing the table. Um, not all of your data was successfully imported. We have errors. Okay, that's fine. So here's my table movie data, and here's my... I've got an error file here. Let's just have a look at the error file. Oh my goodness. We've got loads of errors. I've got no idea what it means, but... Uh, let's not worry about it just yet. Let's go to table movie data. Brilliant. Check it out. All of that data that I downloaded from um, Kaggle.com, I have now managed to import that data into a database application, and I'm using Microsoft Access. And here we have all of the data. So before I finish today, I'm just going to very quickly show you how to do quick filters on this data so we can see little subsets. For example, I want to know um, how many movies in this data set were directed by Gore Verbinski. So I can just click on Gore Verbinski here, right click, and just do a filter. They give me some choices here anyway. Equals Gore Verbinski. I'll take that. So it's quickly showing me that there are seven records. Seven. And here they are. 
these were all movies by Gore Verbinski. And I can immediately see that Gore Verbinski worked a lot with Johnny Depp. He did the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. He also did the Lone Ranger movie. He directed Lo the Lone Ranger movie. He directed The Mexican. I didn't know this. So now that I've done that filter, I'm just going to clear the filters. And we'll get the full data set again. Let's say that I want to see all movies that lasted for longer than two hours, which is 120 minutes. I'm going to do some number filters greater than 120. How many of the movies in the database lasted longer than 120 minutes? And if we just come down here, we can see that in the database table, 1,145 of the movies lasted for longer than 120 minutes. And I promise you, we're not going to see any number here that's less than 120 because of the filter that I just put on it. So wow, 1,000 145 movies in the database are 100, uh, more than 120. Let's clear the filter. Um, I wanted to show you something else. Let's go to the year. Let's see if what other filters we've got. Between. Oh! Sorry, you can't see that. I'm just going to show you that again. Right click on any of these years in the title year field. And I'm going to go to number filters between. Ooh. So between 20, 2014 and 2016, what movies were made? Well, here's the result. As you can see, all of these movies are between 2014 and 2016 and if we go down here we can quickly see that there are 577 records of information in this database about movies between 2014 and 2016. That is a very quick introduction to um, databases. We've looked at how to import data into a database and during the import process we need to consider the data type then we looked at how to quickly filter data in a database table.